Hello Aries. This is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. So let's see guys what we've got for you. What was going on here with you guys in the past? Hmm, five of wands, feeling very conflicted around something, um, maybe having arguments with someone, not getting along, uh, not seeing things the same way, in the same same light. Maybe a Leo that you guys um, were dealing with here. <clears throat> And they were very off balance. Um, the person that you're thinking about uh, really not being sure of themselves, not being sure of anything. You know, it's like just everything kind of up in the air, not really knowing how to maneuver. You know, I feel like this person probably had one foot in and one foot out, you know, kept you kind of just not really sure of where things were going with them, I feel. Let's see what's keeping you from this person. What's keeping Aries from this person here? There we have it again. A lot of conflicts, arguments, um, people saying things that they don't really mean, or just saying things to be hurtful even here with this Five of Swords. Um, just like, just not getting along in general. I feel like you guys were like giving more to this situation, being more active in the situation trying to make it work out trying to get along with this person and I feel like this person was really kind of kicking against it here um, that is uh, Aquarius energy right there let's see <clears throat> and they just weren't speaking a lot um, and I feel like when they did speak it was it was not substantial um, it may have been come across a little aggressive, even very immature energy is what I'm feeling coming from this individual that you were dealing with. Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. What's currently going on for Aries? Yeah, it's like you're, you're done with that. You're, you're trying to move on. You're trying to change that some things in your life. Um, you know, you, you're just trying to take what you've learned from, from past issues and you just want to see some change in your life for the better you know moving away from the arguments from the conflict and you know just trying to move forward here Scorpio energy there let's see hmm I feel like this person is working I don't necessarily feel like they're working with people I feel like they are if they are it's on a job okay they're really focused on the material aspect in their life currently okay um, trying to take their focus away from how they are feeling that's where they're devoting most of their time here but at the same time you know they're wondering if they actually did enough to you know in the relationship did they give they their all which I feel like this individual probably knows that they didn't they know they, they didn't do everything that they probably could have to um, to make the relationship work out with you guys, okay? Let's see what's influencing you guys here. Eight of Cups, walking away. Leaving behind that energy, like I said, that's, that you feel like, you know, that, that shit's not good for me anymore. I'm, I'm not trying to involve myself with people or situation that, you know, basically all they want to do is, is win you know feel like they're one upping me um, and you're just not with it anymore leaving that behind here hmm you guys are kind of having the same energy I feel strongly this is an air sign um, individual that you guys are dealing with Aquarius um, Gemini maybe but um, this person is is moving away like <laughs> They're, they're trying to think logically about this situation, okay? And they're feeling like, you know what, it's best that I don't even think about this anymore. Just kind of let this go, let it be as it is, and just kind of, you know, try to move forward. But you, um, on the other hand, you're like taking your emotions away from this. Like, you know, wanting this to work out or 
concentrating on why it didn't work out even it's just not good for you okay you're trying to remove your your emotions from this and um you know lend your lend your energy to something else that is better suited for you let's see what's coming in for you since you're walking away here the king of swords <laughs> Um, a lot of you guys are really like thinking about things logically from here on out, okay? Taking a more controlled look at things, not really allowing your emotions to determine how you react in certain situations, looking at things clearly here, okay? But also good at the same time that um, this individual it's really trying to impede um, your your transformation they don't really want you to walk away okay they really don't and they're really hoping that you kind of um, you know kind of pause for a minute and rethink things or either they're trying to like maybe they they try to reach out to you and talk to you and give you something so you guys won't move completely away from them is what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah, because they want they they are confident that they can they can talk you into, you know, not leaving them, not fully like disconnecting from this connection, okay? Maybe even telling you that, you know, they're willing to compromise at this point. Give you the things that you felt like you you deserved before. Do what it is that you feel like, um, that they feel like you want them to do in this situation. Okay? They're confident that they can make it happen. They're trying to manifest their ass off here. Um, so you will not leave their life, okay? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles is what's blocking you right now. And I feel like you just do not want to go forward with them. You're more focused on yourself, your abundance, your security, um, and lending your time to people who have proven that they are going to be there for you. Okay? This is what's blocking you from them because they haven't shown you this. I don't get. Um, I feel like this person may be a little superficial I feel like they um, like to keep up appearances um, and I think you see that in them and, and you really don't get with that okay you really don't get with that here hmm what's blocking them is actually healing okay actually you know kind of taking things at face value not only about other people but about themselves Okay, realizing what their true path is in this life. That's what's blocking them. Not really seeing things for what they really are. Okay, not being aware of those things that really are here. They're quite confused. Look at this, quite confused, crying over spilled milk, thinking that, you know, all is lost. It's not going to happen. Um, steady holding on to the relationship, but holding back, not being decisive here constantly worrying about you know everything that has happened between the two of you and not taking any I don't see any wands here that I just no wands here there's no action being taken here so I feel like you know what's really holding them back is not taking any action on the things that they actually want from you or with you even okay let's see what the advice is for you guys here what's the advice the five of pentacles keep it moving I feel like keep it moving. Go towards those things that, you know, and people that are going to be there for you. That's not going to hurt you over and over and over and over again. Okay? It's keeping it moving. You know, only involve yourself with people that are willing to give you um, what you give them. Reciprocate here. Keep it moving. Okay? Let's see what the advice is for them. Hmm. I feel like they need to be more receptive, more supportive, um, and I think they need to initiate things because these are new beginnings. The Empress represents a new, abundant beginning, okay? A very supportive energy, um, one that promotes growth. 
This person needs to grow spiritually. Um, <clears throat> they need to heal certain things within themselves that are just not working for them. Okay. And I, I feel like it is for them to also kind of take on more of their uh, feminine energy here. Okay. And here we have two repeat cards. Well, one repeat card. Um, the Three of Pentacles. Basically, again, being there for the people who are important, okay? Working with those people, doing what is necessary to make that, um, to make a situation progress here. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. Hmm, the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling very confident, um, getting your strut back in your step. Okay, because at some point, at one point, you guys were very hurt, feeling very cold, feeling very cold, feeling left out. And, and some of you may have even felt kind of cold after somebody has really hurt you. Kind of like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not lending my emotions to, to anybody anymore after what has happened to me. But um, I see you guys getting your confidence back. If, if this person leaving you left you feeling, um, you know, financially broken down then I see I see you really really uh, doing well here okay by by yourself as a single person okay let's see what their outcome is here the ace of wands <laughs> uh, coming back for your asses that's what they are doing okay coming back for you is what I feel um, you know because this is a spark this is a spark and I feel like this person is very attractive to you and I feel like they will communicate with you the only one here and this is the initiator the beginning of something okay so what we have here, we have Gemini, Capricorn energy, um, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Libra, Aries, of course, you guys. Um, Virgo energies here, Pisces here, Leo's here, Scorpio, um, and any other air sign, I think I said, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But that is what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.